ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to X3, Albion Prelude, with the Lit Cubes mod and the Star Wars mod installed. I'll put some links in the description if you're interested in jumping into this uh, yourself. Uh, it is fantastic. I've done tons of spotlights, so if you want to know what this is, I recommend watching those dedicated videos to it. So, I am leading my, fledging rebel, my fledgling rebel forces against... Uh, well, the pirates in this. I'm doing a little bit of scouting. And where this clip begins, and this is kind of how I think I'm going to follow along with the uh, the pirate campaign. This is the very beginning of our war against the pirates. Um, we, we have found a shipyard. And because of a little bit of a mistake on my part, I decide to initiate an attack against their pirate shipyard in this one particular sector that seems relatively undefended. Now, this has started a campaign of ours against the pirates in this region which I will probably edit up into bite-sized chunks here for YouTube, so enjoy the video. Also, there's a bit of a rant about hyperspace in the Star Wars tabletop game in this while we're doing some sieging, so enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm sending Tabby a message back. Letting her know I've got her back, no matter what she wants to do in life. Uh, so... We got pirate, pirate havocs. We've got what are those novas up to? You guys getting your asses kicked? No, you're attacking the starbase. If you kill that starbase, we can win this. Ooh, do we bring the liberation in and try to murder it? I kind of want to. What was that? Something just hyperspaced. Oh shit! The liberation's set on following me. Well, I think that just solved the problem for us. I'm gonna give the attack order on the liberation to engage the enemy shipyard, and then. Once it gets close enough, we will launch all fighters and engage. I will go ahead and grab a save as well because some shenanigans are going on. All hands to battle stations. All hands to battle stations. Pilots, get to your fighters. Prepare to launch. We'll, we'll run over there. I know they have a hostile force here, but if they're not going to come and engage us, uh, I would rather get over there and help those Novas. Now, the enemy, the enemy, the, the locals, the New Republic that's here. It looks like it was Rebels or New Republic? New Republic. They didn't bring in much. A handful of X-Wings, a few E-Wings, a few V-Wings, and a couple of Novas. Novas are the biggest thing that they've got. Enemy force, uh, actually is pretty representative. It's not, it's not that crazy. Uh, we could bring in the assault ship as well. I kind of want to do that. So, assault frigate, before you do anything, I need you to trade. Trade. I sent you there for a reason. Let's pick up the thing. What did I need? Uh, I needed carrier command software. Carrier Sweet. command software. Inside. And then everything else you should be fine with. You don't need any upgrades. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Assault frigates. Uh, combat. I want you to protect the liberation. The hell are we? Where, where are we at? What system is this? Great. Great trench. No. Where are we? The Liberation is currently located in Gunner's Crusade. That's where it is. Combat. Protect. Gunner's Crusade. Combat Liberation. Accepted. That should get it hyperspacing here in a moment. Woot, woot, woot. All right, how, what's our range to target? Pirate shipyard. The pirate shipyard? Let's, I don't have any missiles on board. Uh, let's get close enough to get the turrets firing. We have multiple hostiles identified. Liv, we need you. And because they've gotten the red boxes, that means they're getting within firing range. They are in firing range. Target is now in firing range. Ooh, did we launch our X-Wing? I think we should launch our X-Wing. Launch fighter! Won't engage just yet. I like that both sides of his turrets are firing. Pirate. Here we go! Shit's dropping fast. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. We're gonna go ahead and fall back. A bit. We did just tank that. Time to run. Engines on. We're gonna pull back. Let them switch targets, hopefully. Oh man, Liv, I need you. I need you so bad right now. Alright, they're out of firing range. Hopefully they're chasing me. 
That would be perfect. How far are we away from the Liberation? The Liberation's 11 kilometers. We're almost within its gun range. We do need to engage down there, though. Mm. I'm gonna die. Pilot activated. I'm gonna die. Liberation's in firing range. Cover me, I'm coming in. We're about ready to let the fighters go. Man, carrier software. Attack me or send me. I've given the order to launch all fighters. I should be coming in through the side dock while they should be launching from the bottom. They're not launching. Unless they're waiting for me to... Come here, your command. Attack fighters. There they go. Fighters launched. X-Wings are moving in. You know what? Now that we've got all the other fighters out there, I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna stick in the fight. Hey! The Lib is open it up! Or the Lib. The, uh, the Nebulon's open it up, and the assault ship is here. Alright, let's do it. Let's cause some trouble. Pirate. First bit of trouble. Missile away! That enemy's going nice and slow. Pirate. Should be an easy kill. Oh! Oh, it's my missile system! Go! This might be bad. We might die. Are we already out of energy? No. Pirate. Get them, X-Wings. Gorgeous. Freaking beautiful. All right. Autopilot activated. Coming in from that dock now. Let's get aboard the command ship and get the rest of these vessels engaging the enemy station. So that went well. Except for the whole shields dropping almost instantly. Are they, are they docking? Okay, we need to stop. We're like outrunning the ships trying to dock. Let's let them do their thing. 10 kilometers and fire. Pirate ships will hunt you down like vermin. All right, guns in range. We'll move a little closer because we want the rest of the fleet to get in range. And I bet they're just outside. I think they've got around a 10 as well. You were warned. Pirate ships will hunt you down like vermin. Good. Bring it, pirate ships. I'm impressed by the survivability of these V-Wings. What, how much health do you have? Your upgradable speed on a V-Wing is 306? Wow. Oh, it's only got 25 megajoules of shield, so never mind. Profit is going to be lost. So, yeah, Bishop, you can't get all of your main guns firing on one target. We've been through this. We've tried. Like, I'll try again. And you may see them firing, but they're going to be firing at multiple targets. But I'm not going to be able to siege this station with both sets. So as soon as these enemy targets are done. Yeah, I guess from this angle, we'll get a better angle on the uh, enemy ships that are coming out. We need all the firing power we can get. Let's see if they launch. There they go. Yeah, a couple of the fighter commands just don't work. Get in there! Hey, you were warned, Nihilus. I don't know what you were warned about. <laughs> so, I learned how to use the fleet X4. You want your fighters in groups. This is because each group has its own dock button in the ship's command menu. Oh, okay. So you really do have to break them down into wings, huh? I think that's what I want to jump into next. I want to play some X4. It's got better dogfighting in general. And you can subsystem target. Pirate ships will hunt you down like vermin. And it's newer, so it actually runs properly on is, what is this X-Wing doing? Is it fired once yet? Cobalt, come on now. No, he's just doing circles. <laughs> you were warned. Pirate ships will hunt you down like vermin. You know, you use the blasters. Nope. Okay. No, I guess we're not gonna do that. It's like they don't know how to target a space station. 
Never change, X3. Never change. You're just the right level of goofy. You were warned. Pirate ships will hunt you down like vermin. Space station? Pirate we're gonna speed up time. Yard. You were warned. Pirate ships will you were warned. Pirate ships will you were warned. We're gonna turn the audio down and turn up the music. Now that we're like like we're like Eve Online style sieging this sucker. Almost down on the shields. Uh. So pirate shipyard destroyed, and this is in the system of Guns Crusade. We're probably going to want to keep an eye and see if another one pops up or if we've cleared them out. Yeah. Eve on land cycle, cycle, cycle guns. Ugh. Ugh. What are you doing? I'm hitting F1 once and then making a sandwich because that's Eve combat. <laughs> Sorry, Eve players. A little bit. Not really. Begin bombardment. Imagine if we didn't have the Venator here. How long this would take. The old Howard could have caught up with you by now? Maybe, Cole. That thing was slow. It was slow and it seemed like... It was so slow it didn't know how to follow orders. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was just because it was so slow it couldn't follow a path that it would set. Another enemy fleet. Um, substantial fleet, actually. Oh, whoa! What is that? Oh, there's a Virgo in there. Look at it. Look at that. I will say, the the multi-crewed Imperial ship is probably one of the cooler ones. All right, we need to give orders to the fleet to attack all enemies. Combat. Carrier command. Attack nearest enemy. Somebody's taking some serious hits over there. It's one of our ARC 170s because they're a gigantic target and they're easy to kill. Turn to base! Lieutenant, return to base! Switching top. Hallion's dead! Sorry, Hallion. You didn't make it, man. I'm manually targeting it. With the right hand side, the starboard side guns. Okay, there is the there is the Corvette right there. I can kill that. Alright, kill you real quick. You're easy enough to drop. I think the fighters are returning. What the shit are you guys doing? Ah, carrier combats. Attack all enemies and land. Your orders have been given. Re-engage. There they go. Yeah, you can't use that other command. One of my fighters just dropped missiles. The Neb is taken a beating. Shields are down to less than 50%. I'll stop on the lid. I don't know why our engines have turned on. Oh, because I gave an attack all command. All right, we're looking all right. We're looking all right. They should return to base. Let's see if the if the fighters return to base. They are. They're doing just that. Battle's almost over. I don't know if they'll get another wave before this is over. It was a long time before that last was given. Oh, I don't know what that is. Freeze up. There's a single Delta 7 in this fight. Alright, I'm gonna start thrusting downwards and get away from the station a bit. I don't know if there's damage on explosions, but. No reason to sit here. 
Oh, hey. Look who brought help. Not the best arm ship. Look at it. Pink, pink, pink. Pirate shipyard. You were warned. Pirate ships will hunt you down like vermin. All right. Enough of that you were warned. Let's just speed up time. And watch a station explode. It's got two blocks remaining. What do we just get a reward for? I was a scout. Scout them. Here it goes. And there it goes. One less pirate station creating wave after wave of enemy attacks. Nice. Okay, all is right with the world. What is this? High yield production complex. Oh, it's making missiles. Production complex beta. Uh-huh. And I, I don't think we can claim... I'm going to see if we can claim this area. Claim sector. Your New Republic notoriety is 108,000. If you continue this action, the New Republic government will reset their standing back to zero to you. Whoa, I can actually see how much my notoriety is? That's cool. We can't claim it, but we help them defend it, which is nice. What's over here? There's another shipyard over here, and there's a mercenary outpost. And there's a mining outpost here. We could actually claim this. Should we do it? We could go back here and claim it and turn this into a new, new base. Let's, let's boob in there and see what's going on. I've been wanting to take territory. West Don't hyperspace land. I'll grab a save. 10%. If you save while you're jumping, I guess it kills the sound effect for the, the charge up. It's one of the most bizarre things in our tabletop game. If you go through the rules, so I have, I have a, I have, I'll even show you guys. Well, as soon as we come out, I'll show you the, what's here? How many hostiles? Are we going to get shooted? Are we getting shooted? Do we need to kick all our engines? Cause there's more coming through the gate behind me. Uh, no. And there's only a pirate mining outpost and no other station in the area that I can see. I will drop another station. Advanced satellite ejected. There's just a mining outpost. Let's destroy this pirate, pirate mining outpost mining and outpost. claim this area for the Rebel Alliance. This is why I turned on the engines. Can I boost? Yes, yes we can. Boosts on. Speed. Approaching a maximum of 106 meters a second. Oh, we're blazing now, boys. Scout. We'll just let it burn out. Oh, I don't want to dock to it. I want to blow up the dock. I think we're going to war with the mercs and the pirates. And I think we're about to fight those pirates that are coming toward us. Are they? They're heading right toward us, right? Whoa, that's a hut cruiser over there. They don't seem to be approaching right yet, so we're gonna just keep cruising away. As we turn toward the station. So, here's what I've got. Here's what I'm talking about. Speaking of hyperspacing, I'll show you guys. Stream, camera, welcome back. So up there on the shelf, on the top shelf, you guys can probably just make out the red and the black and the white books. Okay. So that's and my broken TV. It's got like lines through it as of yesterday, which kind of sucks. Um, those are all the Star Wars RPG books. And in all of those books, there is almost nothing. There's almost nothing related Pirate to mining outpost. hyperspace and how mechanically you're supposed to handle that in gameplay. 
It's nuts. The nebula is going to stay back at base. It's not outfitted for combat yet. I mean, it kind of is, but I don't want to bring it in. We're going to go break this. We're going to break this. We're going to push them out of here. We're going to claim the sector, and then I'm going to put my own station down here. Oh, look, it's the station from Galaxies, too. Isn't that weird? Like, okay, if the players say, hey, we're being attacked by TIE Fighters and we want to jump away to hyperspace, Millennium Falcon style. And he says, well, you can't just do one action in hyperspace away because it's not like dust and crops. You have to do the calculations. So there's going to be a ticking clock. But there's nothing to tell you how long it's supposed to take. It seems pretty damn important, doesn't it? How hyperspace works in fucking Star Wars so you can play a game. It's bizarre. Target is almost in firing range. All those books and there's the bare minimum of description. They give you a little bit of travel time as an estimate. That's it. And even that's pretty thin. So you got to come up with your own, your own solutions. One of those story specific things, right? Now, how frustrating is it, though, as a player to be like, the GM one time told you it would take you, you just rolled and you were fine in combat. But then because story, quotations, he's making you roll, you know, take three rounds, five rounds before you can jump. Shouldn't there be some kind of standard the players would understand? So they could properly, you know, risk versus reward their, uh, their actions? Do we try to jump or do we try to find cover and hide? Well, how do you know what the risk is if you don't know how long it'll take you to make the jump to hyperspace? Pirate ships will hunt you down like vermin. Because they're going for the narrative system. If they're going for a narrative system, Tryon, then why the shit are there that many books with such crunchy systems, with crunchy statistics about all that crap? Mechanics specifically built around gunslinging like mechanics built around hacking like deep mechanics that are super crunchy in a narrative system it's it's i love the system a lot man is it is it it's like schizophrenic it doesn't quite understand what it wants to be if you're narrative you got to keep just about everything you vague right you if you're gonna like go with a narrative system you gotta keep it vague but if you're gonna go for a crunchy D and D system, then you gotta keep it specific. You gotta have hard rules so players know what they're getting into, and everybody's on the same book. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. It's like it was written by two different people. I can tell you the number of cannons a star destroyer has because of this game. On the flip side, I couldn't tell you how long that star destroyer takes to calculate its jump to hyperspace through an, through a, through a trade line. <laughs> Both of these seem very important. Tier 1 would be a while, Tier 3 is rebel fast. Are we talking about Tier 4? Whoop! Anti-missile system, go! I think one of the rounds hit the missile. I don't think my my chaff managed to glide. 